Alrighty. That, but that was a good one, fucking. Well, major now victory. we can finally R, well, we can R and R the rest of the guys now. Because in the north, oof, man. General, general strike, strike in England. Yeah, 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 the rest, the main unions are calling for a general strike that will bring the country to a standstill. Delay in deploying British combat groups. Fuck that's, me. I mean, that's okay. All we right. got the the good one. Oh. The FM is striking the rear guard of the enemy. The commandos of the Allied Mobile Force have managed to disrupt rear guards of the Czech and Soviet forces engaged in Bavaria. Their offensive will soon be compromised. 20 political points. That's really good. Oh, after a week of political, week of political crisis, the Prime Minister has resigned and transferred power to a pro communist administration. <laughs> That's bad. They deploy regular troops in Scandinavia. So there's, what, Finnish troops going to be here? I guess, which is a slight fucking problem. All right, well, first off, let's see. I'm moving the 10th Motorized Brigade up to bring them to the front lines. I'm taking the 9th Panzer Brigade back to Stockholm. They're going to R&R there for a while. The Brigade Nord... <laughs> You want to take the 8th and put them in uh, Opdal so we don't get cut off from the north at Trotheim? Say again? The 8th Panzer Brigade yeah. goes to Opdal so we don't get cut off at Trottenheim? Yeah. That's probably what's going to happen. I'm going to... How many aerial recons do we have? Two? I wish I could get more. I want to see how that what that unit is consist of. Which one? The one in uh, Osterlund. That's the one we just routed from uh, Mora. It is. Well, I can... Yes. So we know what they have. Yeah, we know exactly what they have. Never mind. Yeah. So... None of our troops have initiative except the Marines. Funny. Yeah, so... Um, let's get the Armored Brigade moving up north. I wish there was a way to strategic redeploy them. Oh, yeah, they're in Osland. Yeah. So I'm going to send them up from Hammer. The, the Hammer. Wait, I thought they were in goal. How'd they get to... I thought so too, but I guess not. Brigade Nord. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's figure things out. The first They're and 18th need pretty to Pretty much combat and effective. Brigade Nord. Still got 41 infantry units, but. Yeah, still got 17 tanks. Their yeah, Air Force is combat and effective, but everything else, it's. I mean, it's usable, but. They'd be good for a supporting role, so they can't, they could, they can't fight on their own. No. So I'm actually going to move them up to back up to where they were because they have three initiatives. The Marines can stay there to assist in fighting. I'm thinking of moving the 8th and the 18th into 1st or just keep them there and R&Ring. &R and then, well, the question... Why not move those guys to Lillehammer where they can't be attacked and they can just sit? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Move them there to R&R &R for two turns. So... So we've got that first and 18th moving to Lone Hammer. The Marines, the Marines can R and R there in case they attack, and the Brigade Nord can come in and assist. Because do you want to take the 26th and wipe out that Guards motorized because they have full initiative? Yeah, the 26th hasn't seen any combat. They're gonna go have some fun. The tanks are gonna be outclassed, but they have a we have a fuckload of them. Yeah, we got a f yeah, shitload of them. And everything else really too. Like infantry are cheap. They're fifteen and have Carl Gustavs. Yeah, and our and our uh, aircraft are very very good. Uh, <clears throat> we shut down like a whole bunch of their aircraft as well. Yeah, because they got the thirty five Draken, which is gonna be. I don't know how those rockets are gonna do against air to air. It would be interesting to see. Uh. <clears throat> oh yeah, get them. Get the armored unit moving from Oslo to uh. No, I'll put them at. We're... I'll put them at goal. Because yeah, if we need we'll to, send them to where the Marines are. Yeah, they can assist the Marines if the Marines have to hold. Because there are an army. And we're there. taking take the eighth to yeah. Optal. Yeah, eighth is going to Optal to prevent any form of them trying to get out. Yeah, any encirclement. Brigade twelve and... is R and R Right there. Uh says Panzerbrigaden, right there to Copenhagen. Let's see. That's good. We'll have the land reserves R and R so they can get more initiative back. And then they'll have four morale. Yeah. R&R. &R. And the King's Guard. 
they got full That's initiative. That's crazy how contagious yawning is because I just yawned like a minute before yeah. you did. We got the King's Guard, which are full initiative, full morale. Get your ass down to keel. Now. Do we want to bring in anything is the question. Hmm. Yeah, we could do the uh, 101st. Anything cheaper? No. 30 is the cheapest we got. So we can get the 101st. We could do the Light Brigade, which. Oh, they're gonna be spawned at airports. Oh, hey. Uh, day 8, we get the 5th Canadian Mechanized uh, Brigade. That should be an interesting one. Well, let's take a look see here, because. 82nd then to be deployed wherever. Under for ah, okay. So the hundred first can only deploy at at specific sectors, actually. In any controlled harbor or western coast. Well, uh. Well, if we want to pre, well, we can also do the we do. It, well, it depends on do we want American paratroopers? Well, the American paratroopers are ten extra. Why? But fuck it. We could call in the French. We haven't seen the French yet. French reservists, chasseurs. I don't know why they're cheaper. Those. They got some pretty good shit for infantry. And Fuck they, they have got, like over a hundred more units. They got too. the Milan F2. Oh, they got the fun little AML 60s. They got the Mistral little Jeep thing, which is very accurate. A fucking 12. Very good anti air. Blonde vehicles. Then the Mirage. I... Any Jaguar. Whatever we could call for the same amount of points, call the 9th French Division here. Alright, French, which is regular infantry. Tanks with ATGMs on it. They're AMX 13. They're, they're very shit. The only thing they have good for them is they're a little, that little ATGM. They do the AMX 30 B2s. They're 20 mil, which are fun. They're lacking in the aircraft department, though. The aircraft, they got the Extendar, which is two bombs. Uh, you know, why not? We should do AD second. They have a bunch of, like, they have the F-15 Eagle and F-16. Yeah, the Night, they have the night Oh, Nighthawks. Say again. Oh, they, the Nighthawk, the oh. stealth. Those things are very good. That might be worth getting the uh, AD second. Might be because they got the F4G Wild Weasel as well for seed. I mean, the 101st would be a lot of fun because you know, assault engineers and helicopters. Yeah, problem is though, all their infantry are in helicopters. It'd be a little diff. Well, getting where we want to wouldn't be hard at all because they could have Apache support and the F 15s can keep air superiority for sure. Oh, and A10s, those are fun. Yeah, those are quite deadly. We get day eight. Yeah, the six. The ninth, we could also send straight to invade uh, as well. Uh, where the Chris, the one where the two guards are, the guard tank regiment, and then the. We could land the, the French one there. Yeah, because they're they're a naval invasion. Shit, you wanna do it? Yeah, because the do, French can finish it off. Yeah, because the ninth has some very good helicopters, even air-to-air -air helicopters as well. And the enemy have no anti-air pretty much. Yeah, you know what? Let's waste an aerial recon on it just to make sure. Yeah, let's just see what they got. Cause we let's see what they got left. All right, so I'll check the tanks. Oh Jesus! Oh fuck. nothing. Oh. Absolutely no AA. Wait, the tanks? Let me see. Oh yeah. The tank has no AA. Tank has no anti-air. They got three planes. Jesus, I can hear them trying to clear the road. Fuck. And then the guards has... The guard has a lot of anti-air. One, two... two three five, radar five. and two strellas. However... You definitely face worse odds. They only got 13 tanks and two aircraft. I, I think we could... I think the French can deal with it. Yeah, it's set them in. Well, unless... Or we can send in the 3rd Commando Brigade of the British... 
Uh, I thought there was a delay on that because of the riots. I, I think that's for... Ooh. That is possible. I... That's the only British thing we could call in except for the uh, Fifth Airborne. Yeah, I'm surprised we had. Uh, I don't know why the first airborne can only be deployed at, you know, seaports when they have helicopters. They should be able to be deployed at an airfield, if anything. Would make a lot more fucking sense. Because I know they're not paratroopers like the 82nd. No, yeah, let's use. Let's, use, let's play with the French for a bit. Let's use the French. Let's get the. Plus, they're cheaper. Well, I say they're cheaper. No, they're still 30, like all of them. We would actually. I just realized something. That marine, that mechanized unit, it's routing. We would only have to fight the tanks. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, Frenchies. Uh, yeah, they're they're they're, they're uh. Crush them. Hang on. I guess Jillian said her father's now okay with her driving. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's go. I guess wait, well, I, let me make sure we got everything good. Yeah, I think we're all set here. This will be an instant deployment, so they can't. So actually, I'm going to cancel the movement of the 18th and the uh, British. Because the, the infantry are going to be immediately deployed. So I can R&R &R them here right now. That's a good idea. I'm glad I checked. Alrighty. And then, uh, oh, the 4th Brigade. I fucking might as well R&R &R them up here. So is Julian coming over case, to see tonight? Uh, she might come over for family dinner. Well, it, it depends on how that got on hold. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Because yeah. Barry just texted me that mom wants pork chops for dinner. Uh, so we've decided on all the moves we're doing? Well, I'm debating whether to cancel the 8th Panzer Brigade move and have them move up north. And then take uh, the 26th and move them to Olsk. Uh, Olsk. Yeah, we'll send them to Opdal because there's no guarantee that those tanks are going to sit still. To Olsk? What? Keep the order because there's no guarantee those tanks are going to sit where they are. They might try and move there to oh, get the out. Oh, to Osterlin? What? No, so the, no, the 26, the... move them up to capture the airfield there. And then send the, the, eight, the eighth up. Because those tanks, they can't move anyways because the, the French are just going to spawn right there instantly. Okay, then yeah, we'll do that then. Yeah, so we'll send... Yeah, okay. Uh, what's up? <laughs> what up? Barry doesn't want anybody driving in this weather. Okay. Or at least driving in our driveway to, like, get some because it's so deep out there. Yeah. So I assume on hold, well, which is fine by me. What hold? Tell mom, ask mom if it's on hold. Yeah, it is. She okay. just said Barry doesn't want anybody driving or going on the driveway as well. But it's mostly there's been on one of the main streets and they haven't even plowed. Yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> What so, time, um, so if that's the case, what time do you and Barry want to eat dinner so I know when to start making everything? So, is your brother staying home? Yes. Yeah, at that point, yeah. Okay. He said yeah at that point. Yeah, because there's like uh, a foot of snow on the... The street? Yeah. Yeah, I saw him, but I was shoveling a little bit I mean, of stuff. I know he has a Jeep and it's not his prop, but it's the other <laughs> asshole that attempted. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, but what time did you guys want to eat, like... Six o'clock. How about 6.30? 6.30? That work? Yeah. Do we have heavy cream, by the way? Yes, we do. Good. Then I can do this. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks, Mom. Well, if we don't, we'll have half work. 